Imagine with me for a moment. You're 10 years old in gym class playing soccer with your classmates. You wind up to kick the ball in the net and your prosthetic foot flies into it instead. This actually happened to a client of mine wearing a less than adequately suspended prosthesis. Not only was this embarrassing for her, it could have caused some real physical harm. Hey guys, welcome back to Emerge Prosthetics Info Series. Last time we talked about the first principle of comfort. Now we move on to the next big theme, suspension, or how well your prosthesis stays on. There are a variety of methods used to help keep a prosthesis on. The basic rule is that your prosthesis should be securely suspended on the limb independently. In other words, adhesives or additional garments should not be required to help keep the prosthesis on. An ideal socket makes intimate contact with the limb, compressing all the soft tissue without adding pressure to sensitive or bony areas. This creates a secure prosthesis that doesn't slip off and is also comfortable. So to combine the first principle of comfort in a simple math equation, comfort plus suspension equals fit. Having intimate contact with the limb will also minimize sweating or swamp hand and foot. <laughs> oh yeah, one more thing I want to add. If adhesive is ever recommended as a main means of suspension for your prosthesis, you do not want it. Adhesives are a band-aid solution to suspension. It's ultimately not going to stay on very well, and it can be pretty challenging to clean. It tends to leave the sticky residue that just sticks to everything. Why make more work for yourself? In the next video, we're going to discuss the third most important principle of function as we continue to link these concepts together. Leave any questions and comments below, and we'll see you soon.